Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a decorate, um, decorate a domino. And I thought because I was collecting some stamps, I would try to preserve a stamp collection maybe on some of these dominoes that I have. I have a few of them. I'm going to work on one today. Cut it out. And I want to go with the peach and the blue. So I have the peach paint. I'm not sure what I want to do exactly. But I do know I want to decorate it with... Um, oh, you can't see. I have it zoomed in a bit here with um, some peach. And some of the blue, sky blue. And I thought it would be a really cute way to maybe preserve these. There's different ways people decorate... Um, dominoes and I thought this was a little bit more a little bit unique so I give it a try so what I'm going to do is I want to put it on here make this be like my little display and if I have a few different collections of um, the stamps then I can have my collection sitting up on the thicker dominoes I thought that'd be really cute so I have uh, um, different stamps from different people and perhaps I'm thinking that I could um, have a little display of, of different ones. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to grab my glue and I'm just going to glue it right on there. I don't really have a plan of doing a background or anything yet so I'm thinking I'm just going to throw it on there. I have some inks and stuff I could probably play with too. I have different um, stamps, so if I don't like the way it's it's going, I can obviously um, rethink my my steps here. I think I'm just gonna put it on there and then start decorating around it, like it's a display holding the stamp. So I like the way it um, is showing, that's probably too close, the blue, the way it's going through the dragonfly and that kind of thing. So I think I'm going to continue with that with my paintbrush. Why not? And I've got this peach silk. I am actually think I'm, oh no, that's not bad. I was thinking maybe I might need some coral. I do have coral as well. That could be okay. I am getting the edges here. I'm trying to get the white paper of the stamp that the envelope. And just playing with it. I thought this would be cute. I've seen people do different laces. I've done different ones as well. Make little accordion books and that kind of thing. But you try something a little different. It's always fun to play. So. I think I'll have to grab a yellow. Um, some kind of yellow. Maybe... Maybe in paint. I don't think I want to use any paint pen. Because there's some yellow in my background. Although there is some streaking. And you can see. Maybe you can see. If I go make it back to normal there. You can maybe see the yellow coming through the... Um, Domino. I will go back to making it closer for you guys. Just a lot. I thought it would be a quick little fun thing to play with. Um, not that I want to do something quick, but I'm like, ah, I've been saving these little stamps. Could put little flat back pearls on them. You can go right 
to town with them, putting little legs on them and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if I want to go that crazy. We'll see. Add some of that coral with it. Again. <laughs> And I'm thinking I could do, I got my little dotting stylus tool thing. I was thinking about doing some dotting in there as well. And that, that's kind of a flow through of the colors that are going, that are in the stamp. I think that's cute. I'm going to grab some peach in my blue, maybe. I could probably dry it through. There is a little bit of yellowy color coming through and stuff. So there's colors coming through. Maybe I can get a little bit of blue coming through on this side. And that's what I got so far. It's coming through cute. Okay, I'm going to dry that up. I dried it up. I'm going to put a little bit of Gold Rush um, on here. My back to... Uh, let's get zoomed in a bit more. I don't know if you guys can see that well or not. But... Oh, maybe not. I'm getting a little worried here about my go back camera position but here it is and I'm using the uh, metallic lusters gold rush and I'm going to, I'm just wetting my brush because it's dry and if it dries on you you can still wet your brush down and wet the um, gold and get some of that in there I think that's how I want to get my yellow in there I dried it quickly with my heat tool And I like that once it hits the light, you've got that reflection of gold. So that's kind of cool. Getting some of that in there. Got to do some crafting up in the air here. Sometimes my zoom wants to work, sometimes it just it's too blurry. And I think that's going to be cute once it catches the light. I don't know if I have my light in the right spot. Might be too much light, but... I thought it was really cute just to have a little way of displaying. You can put it on a rock and all that kind of stuff too if you have a little collection of stamps. Sometimes you just don't need to keep them all like in a book or whatever. Some people keep them in. Sometimes you try something new. Okay. I really like this. The gold really makes it. I love gold. So. I forgot to add some blue here. So... I'm going to go dip myself back into that blue, back into the peach. And then add some gold after that dries a bit more. There we go. Okay, so here's that. Just adding a little bit more gold to the side that I just um, missed painting on. And that is how it looks now. Pretty cute.
I will have to glaze this over. I think that'll look really nice. So what I'm going to do next, maybe is do some random dots in the colors that I have here. See how that looks. They're dry, so if I have to wipe away, I will. I think that's cute. I'm holding it up so it's not going to be quite as straight as it probably should be, but... You see the dotting that I did on that side? That's cute. So I'm going to dab that off and I'm going to use the coral, I think, on this side. I'm using the smaller one too. I don't know if I can zoom it in. We will try. If I had this, be able to make it lie straight on the table without having to worry about it, it'd probably be better. <laughs> I think I'll make a few more dots. Hmm. Just like a little wave of dots or something. And you guys cannot see a thing. But I'm going to be putting a little wave of dots here. The zoom is just not really working for me. And that's cute. I'm going to go in with the lighter one now. Just being very random. Can you guys see that? Very cute. That one's a big one, but it's going to be okay. It's just going to stay that way. I think I'm going to do a really nice tri dot around on the stamp itself, on the little pre uh, edges that are kind of wavy, how stamps are, pre whatever it's called, and I'm just going to go around on that. And then I'm going to leave it because I think it's a little bit goes a long way sometimes, and I think it's really cute as it is. Then I'm going to dry it and put a nice shiny gloss on, I think. To seal it. Then we can go crazy with this. We can put little laces or anything on there, but there we go. I think that that makes my stamp a star and it's really cute. And I could put it on a little little mini shelf type of thing and have my little stamp collection on a on a little domino. There we go, friends. I hope you guys give it a try. Put your collection on something. Um, a rock or a nice domino. I think the domino's nice because it's nice and straight and you can do nice and flat me and you can do lots to it. I think I just want to add one more thing and I think that's just a little bit of green. I got some metallic green here. And there's a little bit of green on his mouth. Very light green. So I'm going to hopefully this metallic is a good choice. I'm just going to dot it around. Maybe on the peach. It's a very small touch. Maybe get it to be 
my rain on the peach. I'm trying to get it so I don't have to move too much for you guys, but I'm not moving too much. I will have to figure out something different for small projects. Because my camera is as low as it goes. And that's kind of crazy doing stuff up in the air. I kind of like the, the green on there. If the color's coming through, I don't know. I think I'll put, touch a couple of the other colors with this green. And call it done. Oops, dropping it. And I think that is it. I like it the way it is. I'll have some pictures at the end. Hope you guys like this idea. Come on. Not bad. I think it's cute. You can go crazy with it. I'm doing a very plain job, but I think it's really cute. Thanks, friends, for watching. Don't forget to crack on the back. Bye, friends, for now.